So this tip is one we get asked about quite a bit, and oftentimes when we're looking at a new customer's CRM, we'll go in and we'll look at their leads and contacts. Oftentimes they've been using it for a year, and this is kind of what we see, a kind of a complete jumble where, you know, the everything's run together, nothing's really broken up neatly. Um, and one of the things we want to do with both leads, contacts, accounts, and deals is clean all of this up. So I'm going to show you quickly here with leads, and you'll kind of get an idea of what uh, a good way to kind of clean this up is. So you're just going to go to your uh, Settings tab, and then you're going to go to your Modules and Fields. And then you're going to go into the module that you want to clean up, and then you'll end up with all of the various layouts. So we're going to look at the standard layout. And as you can see, here's everything as it is, all kind of jumbled up. So one of the things we do is we will create a new section, and we'll call it Record Data. And in here, we're going to put basic things such as the lead owner, uh, who modified it. Um, potentially, you'll have um, other things you'll want to put up in here, who created it as well. Kind of drop those things up. And then we'll move that all the way down to the, to the bottom. And then we're going to go through and we're going to look and we're going to say, okay, let's break this into another new section. And we'll call this new section Contact Info. Sometimes I call this phone, email, and social, but you can call it whatever you'd like. And in here, we're going to move the phone, and we'll move the whole email opt-out. We'll go ahead and we'll move the fax up here, and we're going to move the mobile up and kind of break these all down. Uh, then just the general email, uh, as well as their uh, Twitter account. And you know another thing is if you're not using these, so for example in here you've got Skype ID. If you really don't care about the Skype ID, just go ahead and remove it and kind of clean things up all the way around. Um, so now you kind of got that basic information up there as it relates to their general contact info. Oops, I left out secondary email. And we'll take that and we'll drop that just below the overall record. You know, and then you may want to have things that you'll just really don't care about, so you want to get rid of the annual revenue. Now, sometimes they're established, as you can see here, with a blueprint, and if you want to get rid of those, you are going to have to go back into this blueprint and go ahead and delete it and get rid of it. So it's easy and simple to do that. Just make sure you uh, go ahead and save this before you do that. So let's say I did want to go ahead and get rid of this annual revenue. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to exit all the way out of this lead and go back into settings and then go ahead and look at your blueprints and then you'll need to click the three dots and go ahead and delete them and go ahead and delete them. So now that you've got them deleted, well you can go back into customization now and you can go into your modules and fields and we can go back into leads and look at this layout. And now we can click on Annual Revenue, and we can go ahead and remove that. And you can also do the same with Industry and anything else. I think Rating is also something a lot of people don't care about, so you might just want to clean that up as well. And so now you've got some basic information here. Here's the other thing. This last name and first name, they're going to slide over into one. So then you can have, you can probably put the title here, move the company over here. So when this shows, it'll have the person's first name, it'll have their title, it'll have the company, and it'll have the website. So it's kind of clean that way. So now you've got the basic stuff all kind of cleaned up here. And if we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And we'll go back to the uh, lead now. Let's take a look at one of those leads, Looks what they look like. And as you can see, it's a much better. You've got the base company information. As I said, you've got the company, you've got the name, got their, all of the information here, kind of, kind of neatly put together here as well. Uh, all of the contact info in one spot, the address information, and then all this record data all the way down here at the bottom. So this is something we do with every single account. It's uh, fairly, uh, fairly straightforward. I recommend you do it with your leads, your contacts, your accounts, your deals. And if you have special sections of information that you want to put in, so maybe some special information you collect on a client, maybe you're in real estate and you want to know, you know, they're, if they are they renting, are they buying, those kind of things, create a separate section for that. Just don't drop it all in to that one area. Anyway, we hope you found this helpful. Thanks for listening.